Hey what's up guys and welcome to this news and finally we have some exciting good news about Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. Basically this news is going to change everything that we know so far about Galaxy Z Flip 5. We've been hearing this from a long time that Samsung is going to increase the outer screen size of the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 from Galaxy Z Flip 4. And this news is also confirmed by Sony was that Samsung is going to use a 3.1 inch of outer screen with a ratio of 1 by 1. But now we're hearing that Samsung is going to use a brand new design of outer screen of Galaxy Z Flip 5 that is going to distinguish it from other competitors. Galaxy Z Flip 5 is going to have a little bit of notch on the bottom side of its display and to give you the perspective it's going to look like the same like we saw in the LG V10 in which we got a secondary screen on its upper side. Now it's basically not going to be a secondary screen on Galaxy Z Flip 5 but it's going to use all of the extra space which have been wasted on Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. And here's a funny fact that this upper screen of Galaxy Z Flip 5 is almost going to look like a folder icon. For your side this larger screen of Galaxy Z Flip 5 is going to be much more useful as compared to tiny screen on last year's Galaxy Z Flip 4. And that larger screen of Galaxy Z Flip 5 is going to be even more bigger as compared to Oppo Find N2 Flip which is currently the biggest competitor for Samsung for level smartphones. Now this larger screen of Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 will be more useful as compared to last year's. You will be able to use full fledged applications on the cover screen of Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 without opening the four level screen. And you will be able to use almost all of the features of your smartphone on the external display of Galaxy Z Flip 5. Now apart from the display of the Galaxy Z Flip 5, we also have some news about Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 5. There were some rumors that Galaxy Z Fold 5 is going to be the first four level smartphone from Samsung which is going to have a built in S Pen slot. But now we're hearing that Samsung is not going to make it happen and Galaxy Z Fold 5 is still not going to have any built in S Pen slot. While there are some changes that we are going to see in Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 as compared to last year's Galaxy Z Fold 4. First we are hearing that it's going to be 15 grams lighter as compared to last year's Galaxy Z Fold 4 and also it's going to be more water and more dust resistant as compared to last year's Galaxy Fold level smartphones thanks to the new water drop hinge. So tell me what you think about these devices in the comment section below and if you're new here be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn notifications and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.